January 26, 1972. Yugoslavian JAT Airlines Flight 367, flying from Stockholm to Belgrade, was over the East German border with Czechoslovakia, when an explosion broke it into three pieces. The plane crashed near the village of Srpska Kamenets, in present-day Czech Republic, taking all 28 crew with it. Much to everyone's surprise, there was one survivor. But how did this happen? At noon on January 26, 1972, Yugoslav Airlines Flight 367 took off from Stockholm, with Belgrade as the final destination. On its way, it would make two intermediate stops, one in Copenhagen, and one in Zagreb. At 14.30, it landed at Copenhagen Airport, where the crew was changed. Among them was the 22-year-old flight attendant, Vesna Vjulovic. Vesna Vjulovic was born in Belgrade on January 3, 1950. Her love to travel led her to pursue a career as a flight attendant, so in 1971, she joined JAT Airways, Yugoslavia's largest airline. On January 25, 1972, Vjulovic and the other four crew members were sent to Denmark, to pick up Flight 367, which was arriving the next day. As she recalled, according to the schedule, she should not have been on this flight, as the company mistaken her with a colleague of the same name. However, Vjulovic said nothing, because she had never visited Denmark, and was excited to have the chance to go. The crew spent the day shopping, awaiting the plane's arrival. Flight 367 landed at 14.30 at Copenhagen Airport, where a change of crew and passengers took place, and at 15.15, it took off for Zagreb. At 16.01, the plane was over the East German border with Czechoslovakia, when an explosion blew it to pieces. The explosion took place in the baggage area, and was the result of a terrorist act, probably by Croatian nationalists. Witnesses reported, that a passenger at the Copenhagen airport, visibly worried, got off the plane without luggage. It is likely that this was the terrorist, who carried the bomb. The plane crashed just outside the Czech village of Srpska Kamenets. The first to approach the wreckage of the plane, was villager Bruno Honky, who heard screams among them. He found Vjulovic covered in blood, and in critical condition. Honky, who had served as a medic during World War II, managed to keep her alive, until rescuers arrived. The young flight attendant was in a coma for 27 days, and was temporarily paralyzed from the waist down. She suffered a fractured skull, three broken vertebrae, broken legs, broken ribs and a fractured pelvis. When she recovered from her coma, Vjulovic had total amnesia about the incident. The last thing she remembered, was greeting passengers, as they boarded the plane, and the next thing she recalled, was seeing her parents in the hospital, about a month later. She learned of the accident, when the attending doctor showed her a newspaper headline, and her shock was so great, that she fainted. Vjulovic was recuperating in a Prague hospital until March 12, 1972, when she was transferred to Belgrade. Doctors offered her a hypnotic injection, to help her sleep during the flight back to Yugoslavia, but she refused, explaining that she was not afraid to fly, because she had no memory of the crash. In Belgrade, her hospital room was placed under 24-hour police protection, because the authorities feared, that the bombers wanted to kill her. The guards changed shifts every six hours, and no one was allowed to see her, except her parents and doctors. Her hospitalization lasted until June 1972, after which she traveled to Montenegro, to recuperate at a seaside resort, where her doctors visited her every two or three days. Vjulovic underwent several operations to restore her movement. At first, she could only move her left leg, and a month later, she was able to move her right leg as well. Her parents had to sell both their cars, to pay for her treatment. Within ten months of her fall, Vjulovic was able to walk again, although she limped for the rest of her life, and her spine was permanently twisted. In all, she spent 16 months recovering. After her recovery, Vjulovic asked to return to her regular job as a flight attendant. But the company placed her in an office job, because they didn't want to attract too much publicity on the flights. But how did she survive, falling from 33,000 feet? 
air safety investigators attempted to recreate the circumstances of the crash. According to them, Vulovitz was trapped by a food trolley in the plane's fuselage, as it was detached from the rest of the plane, and plummeted towards the ground. When the cabin was depressurized, the passengers and the rest of the crew were ejected from the plane. The fuselage, with Vulovitz trapped inside, landed at an angle on a heavily wooded and snowy mountainside. The result was to reduce the impact quite a bit, as the fuselage slid down to a stop. Vulovitz reportedly passed out almost immediately after the cabin was depressurized, as she had extremely low blood pressure. This probably saved her life, as her heart did not explode on impact. In addition, this contributed to less blood loss, which gave her more time to live, until she was rescued and taken to the hospital. After the accident, Vulovitz became famous in Yugoslavia, and was considered a national hero, receiving numerous awards and honors. She worked for JAT Airlines until the 1990s, when she was fired, due to her public criticism of the government, and President Slobodan Milosevic. She herself admitted, that she suffered from survivor's guilt, and tried to find solace in religion. She spent the last years of her life in a poor apartment in Belgrade, living on a meager pension. Vesna Vulovitz passed away in December 2016, at the age of 66. She still holds the Guinness World Record for surviving the longest fall without a parachute, which is 33,300 feet, or 10,160 meters.